If I were to come to your consulting room with cold, cough, sneezing, what would you think about? I'll be thinking of respiratory infections. Good. So today we shall be talking about respiratory infections. Okay, so respiratory infection is a common cause of hospital visits, especially for children, and a major concern to parents. Yes, so respiratory infection is basically any infection that can affect the respiratory system. And this is the chart through quick, the air we breathe in and out have to pass through for gas exchange to occur. And this includes the nose, the sinuses, the throat, the tubes that actually direct this air to the lungs and the lungs itself. Respiratory infections can be caused by viruses or bacteria, but quite commonly caused by viruses. And it could range from simple infections such as common cold to serious infections like pneumonia. So respiratory infections can affect any part of the respiratory uh, tract. Um, and so we classify them as either an upper respiratory tract infection or a lower respiratory tract infection, depending on which area is affected. Symptoms include nasal congestion, uh, runny nose, cough, sneezing, sore throat, chidema. Difficulty in breathing and chest pain. Now this infection can be transmitted from person to person and also through droplets. Like we earlier stated, it can be caused by viruses and bacteria. The thing is, those viruses are able to survive in the environment for quite a long time. So here's a situation whereby someone is coughing or sneezing and you touch a doorknob or you rub it on the handkerchiefs, those viruses can actually survive for a long time. So someone else who is not infected opens the same door and once you have this hand touched on your face close to the nostrils, you can easily get those viruses transmitted to your respiratory tract. So who really is at risk? Basically everyone is at risk, especially those who find themselves in overcrowded environments and those with weakened and or underdeveloped immune systems. Like the children? Yes, children, people in schools, people who are stressed out, and those with pre-existing illnesses. Even us doctors, because you're exposed it's to these patients on a daily basis. It's true. Good news is respiratory infections can be treated. And like we stated, it ranges from mild infections such as common colds, we give symptom relief like nasal drops. And then for the very serious infections like pneumonia, you can actually use the antibiotics or the antiretroviral. That brings me to this point. I have mothers who come complaining and insisting antibiotics be given for him. Conditions such as common cold, it's important to note that when the physician has examined and determined that the child doesn't need an antibiotics, please, do not insist on your ward being given antibiotics because like we stated, most of these infections are caused by viruses, viruses. especially the upper respiratory tract infections. Can this be prevented? Yes, it can be prevented. We ought to practice good hygiene yeah. and respiratory etiquette. Um, we need to avoid getting ourselves in overcrowded environments. Mm -hmm. um, we also have to use soap and running water to wash our hands yes, frequently. Yes, hand wetting with yes. just water. Good. And in the absence of um, soap and running water, you can use alcohol hand wrap yes. to do that. Mm -hmm. And Chidiba, most importantly, we should avoid coughing into our hands. Yes, so if I were to have a respiratory infection and I cough <coughs> into my palms and I have to shake Anoba, I've transferred those droplets to him and he can easily come down with this respiratory infection. So as much as possible, cough and sneeze into the elbow. <coughs> <coughs> Anoba, making me cough. <laughs> So it do, by doing this, you prevent transferring those droplets to another person. Also, in churches, we like to dance and marry and wave our handkerchiefs. If you have a respiratory infection and you've been coughing and sneezing into your handkerchief, please do not wave it in church. As much as possible, use a clean handkerchief to dance in church. Because when you cough and sneeze and you wave the same handkerchief, you virtually share the droplets all around the church. Okay, and then you also have to avoid um, overcrowded places. Uh, you also have to make sure you manage your stress levels. You have to eat well. Yes. You have to eat well so that your immune system will be very strong. Yes. There are also very important things every parent has to know. Like we called it common cold. It's very common. A child can have 
cold six to eight times in a year and even worse when they start school. Also, respiratory infections tend to be very common during Hamatan. This is because the humidity is low, the respiratory tract is dry, therefore makes it vulnerable to these viruses and bacteria. Parents, this infection is less frequent after the age of six years. Yes. And please, a sick child who has respiratory infection has no business going to school. A sick child has no business in school. When a child is sick, down with respiratory infection, then goes to school, this child will also spread the viruses to other children at school. So as much as possible, please, a sick child should stay home to prevent other kids from getting this flu. So this is little about respiratory infections. We thought we should share with you. And I've been your Dr. Chidima. And Dr. Anoba. We'll see you next time. Thank you.